My name is Amit. I'm a product specialist at Vercado, and this video will cover Vercado command APIs and how you can use these APIs to programmatically interact with the command platform and Vercado devices. Vercado API endpoints enable users to easily extract data for further analysis, automate tasks at a large scale, and integrate with other third-party products in a secure and scalable way. Users can call these endpoints to gather data and by integrating with other third-party systems such as Helix, import command alerts, put thumbnails from a camera on a website, automate the creations of persons of interests, and visualize data from dashboards. To start using the Vercada API key in your application, navigate to the admin page, then org settings, then Vercada API. Provide a name for the API key to simplify management. It is best practice to create API keys only when necessary and to reuse them across applications whenever possible. After naming the key, define its permission scope based on the endpoints it will access. Get endpoints require read-only access, whereas post, put, update, and delete endpoints need read-write access. After finalizing the key scope, set the expiration and click Generate Key. Please note that permissions cannot be changed after creation, so confirm the scope before proceeding. Clicking on Generate API Key will result in the API key being displayed on the screen. This step is the only time that the API key will be displayed on command, so make sure to copy it and store it in a secure location for future use. An API token is required in order to authenticate at the endpoint level. Using the top-level API keys, users are able to generate short-lived API tokens that are valid for 30 minutes. You can find more information in our API documentation at apidocs.vercada.com. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have more questions, please visit our Knowledge Center or contact our 24-7 support team.